Hi and welcome class. Today I'm going to be working in Word 2016 and I'm going to show you how to change your document and your layout settings for your paragraphs. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Right here I have a document and it doesn't really have any formatting on it. As you can see it has just about a lot of text and a few dates down here at the bottom. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to edit this document to make it look good and hopefully it'll look good on the documents that you're working on as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is uh, I'm going to change you, show you how to change the line spacing on this document. So the line spacing is actually the amount of space uh, between each line. So as we can see here, the line spacing is pretty small between these paragraphs. Currently, it's probably about a 1.0. Um, if it goes up to a 2.0, that would be double spaced and so on and so forth. So first thing that I want to do here is if I want to change the spacing so that it expands on the page, throughout all of the paragraphs, first thing I'm going to do is a control A. If I hold down control on my keyboard and I press A at the same time, that will be select all. Um, you could also find select all in the home tab, editing group, and you can click on select and choose select all. They do the exact same thing. So you could either hold down control and press A or select all in the editing group. All right, so now that I've selected the entire document, that means that any paragraph settings that uh, I change while is uh, this is selected, it will change everything that's highlighted, which we can see here is the entire document. All right, so right here, I'm going to change this entire document um, pretty much to be 1.5 for line spacing. So uh, as far as line spacing goes, you could find that in the home tab in the paragraph group and line spacing is right here. It says line and paragraph spacing. Choose how much space appears between lines or text but, uh, between paragraphs, right? Lines of text, rather, between paragraphs. So I click on that. It's currently at 1.15. If I hover over each one, I can see how this looks. If your teacher ever says double spaced, it's talking about 2.0 and all the way down to 3.0, which is triple space. In this case, I'm going to do 1.5. So I choose 1.5 right there, and we see it's now created a little bit more space in between each line of our document. So there we go. Next thing I'm gonna do is this uh, right here says pitch festival. Well, I wanna highlight this whole paragraph and center it. Well, if I'm going to be making formatting changes, one of the things that I wanna do is turn on my formatting markers. What the formatting markers do is they actually show you uh, all of the spaces and where new paragraphs begin in your document. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab, paragraph group, and I'm gonna choose this right here, show hide, and this shows your paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols, and I'll turn those on, and now I can see where my paragraphs end, and I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see the dots in between each word. Those dots in between each word signify uh, the spaces that you do uh, in between each word. Don't worry, paragraph markers never get printed out. So if I wanted to select the entire paragraph for Pitch Festival, what I see a lot of students do is they go over here and they drag to the right and that will work, but you notice right here, since the paragraph markers are on, there is a difference between selecting the entire paragraph and selecting uh, until the end of a word. So. Uh, to avoid that problem, uh, what I can teach you about right now is the difference in clicking. So if I click once on a word or in between a word, it will go wherever my uh, click is. If I double click on a word, say I double click on festival, it's going to highlight the entire word for festival. If I triple click on a word, one, two, three, you will see it will select the entire paragraph. So if I ever wanna select an entire paragraph, I always triple click. All right, so now that I have this uh, title triple clicked, I'm going to center it. So I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and I'm gonna press E as in Edward. E as in Edward, control E. So control E will center the paragraph or the selection that you have currently chosen. So in this case, uh, I have centered pitch festival paragraph. You could also find center in the home tab, paragraph group under uh, right here it says center. Notice that in parentheses it says control plus E. That's how I knew that shortcut. So there we go. It says control E is your uh, shortcut to center. This also works in Microsoft PowerPoint. It does not work in Excel or Access. So Word and PowerPoint should work for control E. All right, so there we go. Uh, now that that is centered, what we're going to do is we're going uh, to change the font size of this to 24. So font size to 24, I'm gonna go up here to the home tab and I'm gonna to go to paragraph group 
and I'm going to click on this font size arrow right here and I see down here is 24. Keep in mind I could have just clicked in here and typed in 24 and press enter. All right, so either of those work right there. I could also increase and decrease my font sizes with these two buttons. All right, so that's enough about uh, changing the font sizes here. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to change your margins. So margins can actually be found right in here in your layout tab. And if I wanted to change my margins, I could go to the page setup group and click on margins. All right, so if I wanted to change these margins, say I wanted to change the top and bottom margins to 0.5, well, I see that I have some options here, but I wanted to leave the left and right margins at one inch. Well, I don't really see that in here, so I'm going to go down here to custom margins. So if I click on custom margins, this is where I could customize my margins to be exactly how I want them to be on the top, left, bottom, right, or in the gutter positions. So I choose 0.5 and 0.5 right there, and I click OK, and that again, that's on the top and bottom, and that will move it notice that my document moved slightly up here. The margins are the amount of space that it takes from the end of the piece of paper to where the paragraph begins. So you notice that I changed my top margin to be from one inch to half an inch. So it used to be right down here at about the one inch mark. I could see based off my rulers. And when I changed the margin it moved it up to just half an inch so it moved it up just a little bit notice that if we were down here towards the bottom it would have uh, allowed more space on the bottom as well all right uh, so that's how we change our margins if I had have changed the left or the right margins you would have seen the text in here uh, either increase or decrease depending on if I change those margins uh, to a larger or smaller number all right, so there we go. So that's how we change our margins. So next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna select these three paragraphs below the title and then change the first line indent. So this paragraph right here, it says, do you have a story? And then this next one says Sturgeon Point Productions. And the next one says the Pitch Festival. These are what uh, can be viewed as, as my body paragraphs. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit by holding control and scrolling out. So, or scrolling down rather. So I have these three paragraphs. I'm gonna select all three of them. I usually select my paragraphs back to front. I just find it easier than going up here because some of my students uh, and myself included accidentally go too far over here and then we select entire line. So I always go back to front on the highlighting. So right there I see that I have the three paragraphs selected. Since they're body paragraphs, remember they have to be indented. So to increase the indent, I'm gonna go back to the home tab and I'm gonna go right here into the paragraph group. Notice that we've been working in this paragraph group quite a bit right now. So uh, in the paragraph group, if I wanted to increase my indent, really the best way to do that is, uh, well, there's a couple ways to do it. I can go over here and increase and decrease indents, but if I wanted it to be a specific uh, type of formatting, say just my uh, first line of the uh, paragraphs, well, then I could go right here to the paragraph settings dialog box. If I click on the paragraph settings dialog box, I see right here indents and spacing. This is the right spot. Right here under indentation, I could go to special and just choose first line indent by half an inch. So I choose first line, half an inch is the default. And you can see right down here is our preview. It shows that the first line gets indented out just a little bit. So that's good right there. I click OK. And there we go, now we see our first line is indented out. So that looks good. All right, now I'm going to select the entire document. So again, I do control A to do that. It doesn't matter if I already have something selected, I could just do control A to select the entire document again. So there we go, I have it all selected. Now what I'm going to do is change my spacing before and my spacing after to six points. So again, in the home tab paragraph group, I can click this paragraph dialog box button and notice that one of the areas right below indentation is called spacing. The, what spacing does is it adds space to uh, basically before your paragraph or after our paragraph. Notice that if I pull this to the side here, we can see that there is uh, a lot of space after each paragraph. Notice right here, there's a lot of space in between there. Um, and there's not a lot of space before the paragraph. So if I increase the space to six points there and decrease the 
uh, space to six points there and click OK. We see that it gets shrunken down a little bit on the top and raised a little bit um, on the bottom. So there we go. All right, so I changed those settings right there. Uh, you could always increase the spacing after if I wanted a lot of space after there, uh, after this paragraph, say, and that's how you would do it. All right, so the next thing that I wanna do is I'm going to select the last three paragraphs containing the dates right down here. That's these three. Again, I'll go back to front for highlighting those. And so I select these last three paragraphs and notice that these have uh, dates. So what I'm going to do here is basically, um, I'm gonna zoom in on this so that we could see it just a little bit easier. So I selected these dates and then I'm going to apply fill square bullets here. So bullets are in the paragraph group as well. And I'm gonna click on the little arrow next to the bullets. And I see that I have fill square bullets right there. So I choose fill square bullets and there they are. They are filled in and they are square. So those are the ones that I wanted. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm basically going to do what's called a uh, right tab dot leader, all right? And so what this does is dot leaders will add in dots until a specific tab stops. So that what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click right here on the paragraph settings dialog box launcher and I'm gonna show you what this does. Uh, you see this oftentimes in a table of contents. So right here I go to paragraph dialog box launcher and down here towards the bottom I'm going to choose tabs all right and if I click tabs right here it'll ask me my tab stop position all right so you might need to have your ruler out right here but I'm going to choose six for right here and if I choose uh, six okay as my default tab position and then I go over here and I could choose my leader type. I'm going to choose this one right here, which is dots, okay? So tab position of six, which will be at the six inch mark on my page. And then I choose uh, dots right there, which will be the type of dot leader that it is. And now I'm going to align it right, meaning I'm going to have everything aligned right after the tab stops. All right, so here we go. I click okay, now take a look. What it did was, since I already had tabs right here, you could tell because I had the little arrow, right? I pressed tab. It moved all of these to a line right over here at the six inch mark, a line right. So there we go. So that's how you do your tab stops. So uh, I hope this tutorial has helped you out. I hope that it, uh, you know, has kind of explained a few different things inside of the paragraph group. Uh, that's pretty much what this one was meant to cover. So if it did, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you have a video request or a comment, please put it into the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.